Hey there! My name's Amanda, and I'm 16. A few years ago, I was a committed coin collector. I was so excited to have found myself a hobby. It made me a different person. I was chasing rare coins and then proudly placing them in my album. I felt I was doing something important and thrilling in my life, and that was so cool. Once, our city hosted a fair of rare items. Coins were among them. The fair was an annual event and a must visit for me, but this time I had to stay at school a little longer. It was my turn to clean up the class. It was so unfortunate. I finally got to the fair. I was afraid that the items I need would be sold out. What was the point in saving all my pocket money then? For the whole year? I went around all the sections and found nothing. Last year there was one booth selling antiques and they had a lot of coins, but I simply didn't have enough money back then to buy a rare coin which was hundreds of years old. This year, I couldn't find that booth. Either I was late or the booth never opened. What bad luck. Being sad, I was on my way home when I met my neighbour. Her name's Eliza. She's my age and often pisses me off. Since childhood, parents have compared me with her, making her a role model. I didn't get why my parents didn't see how <laughs> wicked she actually was. She was often rude to me and liked showing off in public. She was often rude to me and liked showing off in public. In a word, she wasn't all sweetness and light. So she came up to me that day saying, I think you're looking for this, huh? And she showed me a coin I wanted to have for over a year. I wanted to have a closer look, but was stopped. Right, she wasn't giving it to me for nothing. I asked what she wanted. <laughs> After putting me down with some nasty jokes, she said she wanted me to set fire to the hair of my best friend, Eve. Eliza was at odds with Eve, so she just couldn't lose this opportunity. She was even ready to let go of the money she spent on the coin. She just wanted to humiliate Eve. It was a difficult choice. I had to wait another year for the next fair. But what if I can't buy this coin? What if it's not there? I knew Eliza pretty well. If I do what she said, she would give me the coin. I said I had to think about it. Eve and I had had numerous arguments lately, but she was my friend. What was more important to me, my hobby or her? Eliza demanded that the trick be sudden for Eve. I thought it over and decided to go for it, hoping Eve would forgive me someday. The next day, I found out Eve was leaving for her summer house for the weekend. I thought it might be fortunate. I told Eliza about it and she agreed to wait. I used this time to browse the internet for this coin, but no luck. It wasn't there. When Eve got back, I asked her to meet with me in the yard and I also warned Eliza about it. Apparently, Eve thought I wanted to talk about the difficulties in our relationship. She noticed I was hesitating and began to speak. Eve said that friends quarrelled sometimes and that there was nothing wrong with it. She suggested we forget the bad things and become friends as before. These words were very hard on me. I wanted to tell Eve the truth and just go away. But Eliza was watching me and was holding my dream coin in her hand. There was no way back. I was determined. As I was hugging Eve, I pulled out a lighter from my pocket and set fire to her hair. Eve was lost. She didn't understand what was happening. Then she began to scream and run back and forth in despair. I had a bottle of water ready near her door, so I put out the fire quickly. Eve started yelling at me and I apologized. I realized our friendship was over. And then Eliza made things worse by saying she made a video of what happened and posted it on YouTube. I did not expect that. Eliza gave me the coin and left while laughing. With the coin in my hand, I should have been happy. I dreamt of having this coin for so long, but I didn't feel any joy or excitement. I tried to think of it this way. I didn't spend a dime. I wasn't injured and I got the coin in my dream, but I still felt very sad and even painful. I inflicted psychological trauma on my friend. Because of me, many people see Eve running scared with her head burning. It was so shameful. If I could go back in time, I would have definitely refused to do it but I could only learn from my mistake. I should have bought the coin later at some different place. I just had to wait, and there's no way I can be friends with Eve again. Friendship is priceless, and you can't buy it, even for the rarest coins. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Write in the comments what you would do if you were Amanda, and someone like Eliza was talking you into such a horrid plot.